right, welcome to the Behind the Board on Shortcuts and Grid Mode. We have a little rhythm guitar in here. I'll play it back for you so you know what we're working with. We have a rhythm guitar and we have that clicking sound. That clicking sound is the click track right up here. Uh, that click track it just kind of sets the tempo for us. And since we're going to be in grid mode, I'd uh, like to kind of start explaining the click track with that. Uh, so we'll just leave that in there. We won't get too deep into that. We'll do that separately. But let's use this guitar uh, to have some fun with some shortcuts uh, in grid mode. Uh, first, we're going to make two new tracks. Go up to track. Go to new. We're going to make two mono audio tracks in samples. And just press create and they'll pop right up. Here they are. Um, they're a little bit small, so I'm going to stretch them out just by going down here, pulling them out, going down here, pulling this one out. Great. All right, first thing I want to show you is grid mode, show you what that means. If we go up here, we see slip mode and grid mode. Those are the two ones we're going to be going over. Slip mode is what we're currently in, where we can move wherever we want. Uh, there's really we could go just as small as we want, as big as we want, and that's all fine. Now let's see what happens when I go to grid mode. So we're in grid mode, and our grids are set to quarter notes. Uh, so I can only go a quarter note at a time. So I can not drag this much, but I could grab this much. I can't grab this much, but I could grab this much, and so on. So it's always going to lock me to the grid, and that's what grid mode is all about. It's very specific, and it's dead on editing. Uh, so what I want to do is show you how to use grid mode uh, in order to edit this into something kind of fun. Uh, we will take this audio one track, let's double click the title, and let's call it Guitar Beat Left. And I press OK. Go to Audio 2, and I bet you guessed it, Guitar Beat Right. Okay, so we have that set. So I said this one was a guitar beat left. Uh, so that means I want it to come out the left. So I'm going to work on the pan. Uh, the pan means what speaker it's coming out. So right now it's going right down the middle, which means it's coming out of both speaker, speakers equally. Let's bring it over to the left so it comes out of only the left, 100%. Uh, we'll do the same thing to the right, except we'll go to the right instead of the left. We'll pull that to the right, 100%. Great, so now we are panned left on the guitar beat left, right on the guitar beat right, and let's find a few little spots to work out. We're gonna do everything in grid mode and everything in quarter notes. So we don't have to change this, uh, it could change from quarter notes to eighth notes or whatever here, but we're gonna stay in quarters for now. Uh, so let's find a piece of this we could play with. Alright, so I found a piece right here that I want to start with. Here's the first hit of the song. Let's highlight that. So you just press down, drag over. Uh, I want to copy it. It's Command C. It's the same as copying in a Word document. Uh, the, the shortcuts aren't that difficult for what we're going to do right now. Just remember Command C is copy, Command V is paste. Um, the other thing I'd like to show you is since we're in grid mode, all we have to do is click the same area and it will lock right where it's supposed to be. I'm not going to be, like I say, I was in slip mode now, and I tried to do that same thing, tried to lock it right where it was. I'd kind of have to do my best guess, but it's not going to get exactly on the line, and then when you zoom in uh, using T, you'll see I'm not exactly on the line. And then I could keep trying, but I'll, I'll keep being off a little bit. Uh, but let me just click grid mode, and click anywhere near it. And boom, it's dead on. It's right there. So that's going to be very important for the exercise that we're doing right now. All right, so back where we were. We took the first hit. We copied it, Command-C. We clicked it down onto our guitar uh, beat left track, right where we copied it, and we pressed Command-V to paste it. Great. So now we have one beat down here. Let's find our next one, uh, next thing that sounds cool here. All right, so we have it two in a row here. Let's take this right here, see where I am. 
So this was the first beat. We're skipping the second beat, and we're going to take the third beat. So take that third beat, Command C, bring it down to your right, Command V. <clears throat> All right, now we have everything we need. So let's get rid of this uh, rhythm guitar track. All we're going to do is go up to it, press the mute button. That just shuts it off. It doesn't uh, let it play anymore. So we pressed mute, so nothing plays from that track. But what will play is what we pasted down because it's not muted and the volume is on. Cool, so we got a cool start to a little guitar beat. Uh, next thing I want to do is bring this one over, this first part, to the next bar. And since we're in 4-4, we could count the beats. One, two, three, four. And fortunately, every bar is highlighted a little darker uh, than the in-between beats, if you just take a look at that. All right, so we're going to the next bar. We'll copy that in. And you know what? Let's copy it to the beat after two. So it's going to happen twice in a row. Uh, then we'll copy in this part. So we could either do it like this, where we grab just the piece, we find the third beat like where it is, and paste it. Or, follow me on this, we'll undo this. Just Command Z is undo if you ever get into a position where you can't follow along. Just Command Z and it's gone. Uh, I'm going to take it from the beginning of the bar right here all the way to the end. And I'm just going to Command C copy, then right at the next bar, Command V paste, and it's at the third beat anyway. So let's see what we made now. All right, it sounds like we're making a beat now. Uh, let's see how else we could change this around. Uh, let's just give it one of these at the beginning. Um, and let's give it two of these. So we'll just copy this. We'll go to the third beat and the fourth beat. And let's play back what we made now. All right, very cool. Uh, let's do a few more augmentations of this. Let's do a full one. So we'll do two of the first one. Copy it there for the next grid. Copy it there. And two of the last one. Let's see what we got now. All right, so one more thing we could do with this in our four four quarter note phase that we have going on right now. Uh, let's copy one of these. Let's copy one of these. And let's do the same thing. Copy one of these. And copy one of these. Let's hear what we got. All right, great, let's make this a continuous event. What I wanna do is take this and just paste it over and over again so it can go on uh, for as long as we'd like it to go. So let's go up to our grid and we're going to change it to bars. So this is a much larger grid. Now I can't take this quarter note, all I could do is take the entire bar, uh, which will make this easier and more precise. So we'll just copy around that whole area. All right, now we could copy and then paste and that's fantastic so let's zoom out see what we just did uh, zoom out one more time with me uh, we have a lot of room here we could copy and paste copy and paste over and over or we could duplicate now we have highlighted uh, what we want to copy and paste over and over all we have to do is press command d and duplicate it over and over and this will go on and on and on um, and that's what we got right now I think you get the point. Uh, so thanks for being with me on this video, and I'll uh, be back with you on another one soon.